Okay, let's get started on the Reuben soup. I already have olive oil in the pan, enough to cover the bottom. I put a half a stick of butter, it gives good flavor, and the oil helps the butter not burn. Okay, let's start by dumping our onions in. And this is one large onion. You hear it sizzling? Okay. So we... Okay, so now we put our onions in. Spread them around a little bit. Now I have the burner on high. I'm gonna turn it down. It seems a little hot, so I'll probably put it down to medium. So I had the oil nice and hot. Okay, so I stir that around. Put some flavor in that butter and oil. I let them like get a little bit transparent, a little. Um, okay, the onions have been in here for about a minute, and I'm going to add celery. And let that cook for about 10 seconds. Okay, I'm going to add my garlic. The amount of celery I use is like one big um, stalk, and the garlic is two, two teaspoons. Okay, so I let that cook a little while. I'm going to turn my burner down again to about low, and let that like cook in here for about a minute. So when I stir it, I make sure it doesn't burn. Okay, so, okay, so now I'm going to add the beef broth. And that's about eight cups of beef broth. About eight cups. Okay. Um, I'm going to let the beef broth get a little hot, and when it starts getting warmed up, I'm going to add the corned beef, which is about about two cups of corned beef. But you can purchase the corned beef at your deli camp counter, and just like about a pound would be probably good enough. Um, now I'm going to add the sauerkraut, and that's two cups of sauerkraut. I will put the um, recipe on my channel. So I stir that. So, and once it boils, I'm going to turn it down and let it cook for 30 minutes. Turn it, see that the soup is boiling. I'm going to turn it down to medium low and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Okay, I did put a lid on, but I didn't put it on tight. I just put it on so, so steam can get out the side. Okay, now I'm going to add two large potatoes. Now, they've been in cold water because it helps get rid of the starch and they won't turn brown. You chop these early and you let them sit on the counter, they will turn brown. I'm going to cook them for about close to 10 minutes, whatever it takes to make them soft. I think it's about 10 minutes. Okay, so the potatoes have been in the, the boiling soup for about six or seven minutes. And they're rather, they're getting soft. So I think I'm going to add the cream, which is two cups of cream, half and half, and the cheese now. And then the potatoes can cook the rest of the three minutes with the cream in there. So I'm going to add another. So this will be four tablespoons of of the boiling water out of the soup. And what I'm trying to do is to bring it, the temperature down on the half and half so that when I put it into the broth, it does not curdle. I'm going to do another one, so that'll be five now. So five should just about do it. Okay, so the soup is done. We're going to put it in a bowl and put a slice of Swiss cheese on it and some croutons and then a dab of thousand Island dressing and you're good to go. There's the finished product. I've already eaten a bowl, it's absolutely delicious.